Legion Tactical Cutlery. Hold the line. Hey everyone, how you guys doing? It's Grugs here, Legion Tactical Cutlery. Welcome back troops, legionnaires, and new recruits. Appreciate you guys and gals checking out my channel as always. All right, in front of you, we got another wicked blade. This is the Takumi Tac Charge in D2 Steel. Legionnaires inspection, what have you guys and gals got today in your pockets? Well, I am carrying a pocket fixie, newly acquired, won it in the contest from the last Huntsman Outdoor. Check it out. Thank you very much, Gabriel, for this awesome win. Veterans Active Military, I got another wicked tactical combat blade for you guys and gals to check out. This is the Takumi Tac Charge. I just wanted to say thank you very much for your service, and I'm excited to show you guys this blade. Legionnaires, let's get these blade specs out of the way. We're looking at an overall length of 11 inch, blade length of 5.25 inch, handle length 5.75 inch, knife weight 9 ounce. Blade shape is a wicked tanto. Blade material is D2 at an HRC of 61 to 62. Handle thickness 4.93 millimeters. Blade grind is flat with a plain edge, satin finish. Handle material is G10, and it does come with a Kydex sheath. Let's do a quick close-up. Let's do this. All right, check this out, troops. Look at that wicked blade. Look at the geometry on this awesome blade, man. This thing is sick. This is awesome, and I want to thank Takumi Tac again for giving me the opportunity to test out their knives. Let's check out the other side. Look at that. Look at that. Freaking awesome. All right, a little thin on the tip, so I have to be careful with that tip, but I'm sure that they've done the heat treat right as they do with all their knives, but I'm going to use it smart anyway, okay, as always. Has a slight sharpening choil, a very, very thin handle. I know some of you are not going to like it, but I guess this is for tactical glove use maybe. You know, you got to put on a glove, and that's what I'm going to do. Even though my gloves are not tactical, I'm going to try them on with the gloves and maybe do some work without the gloves just to see how it works out. It's got a beautiful protruding tang. You definitely can use this to bash somebody over the head. It has a lanyard hole, pretty generous, and I did put it on the lanyard. Full tang goodness, as always with Takumi Tac. Okay, the G10 are nicely textured, so it's got some grip, even though it's a little on the thin side. Man, I can, I can grab this really, really nice. All right, so as you could see, no matter how I'm holding it, reverse grip, forward grip, it, it feels really good in the hands. So this is a stabbing knife, you know. Pretty good combat blade, I think. All right, troops. There's really not that much to this knife other than how awesome it looks. Let's take a look at the sheath. Wonderfully done taco-style sheath. Okay, holes and rivets over here is that you could do different lashing on your pack, on your belt, or on your vest. It does come with a tech lock, which is very adequate. It is a nice, thick Kydex sheath. Let's pop the knife in real quick. Snaps in with authority. It is a wonderful looking package. All right, let's get to work. All right, Legionnaires, I found myself a nicely sized, thick piece of wood. I'm going to try with and without the lanyard, with and without gloves to see how this works out. But as of right now, I'm wearing some gloves and a lanyard. Going to do some chopping into this nice piece. I understand that this is more tactical than it is outdoors, but I need to test this out for Takumi Tack, okay? And one of the best ways I know how is to test it out outdoors. All right, let's bite into this ba bad boy right here. Okay, there we go. And... The chunk's already coming. All right. You can see already it is biting. Now, I have to say, the handles are thin, all right? And it is definitely sliding forward as I chop. So it's a good thing that I've got this lanyard here. In fact, I'm just going to tighten it up a little bit, all right? I am trying to use the whole handle. I'm going to keep on going. So far, we're looking good. It's very light. 
it's not heavy at all. So, you know, for somebody who's doing combat or some kind of martial arts, it definitely flows within the hand. So, obviously though, you know, if you're a soldier, somebody tactical, operative, and you're out in the woods, you know, you need to use this knife. So far so good, I'll tell you what. So, it is definitely digging in to this piece right here. And it's a nice sized piece, okay? That's not a joke right there. So this is a decent sized piece for testing. I always want to make sure that the troops out there get a great idea of, you know, what a possible knife that they may or may not purchase can or can't do. All right, and with experience from Takumi Tak, their knife seemed to be able to handle quite a bit. All right, look at all that. Not bad, not bad at all. I'm even going through a knot over here. In fact, let's do it. Let's get rid of this knot. Still digging in, still chopping good. I'm using every part of the blade. And we are looking good. We're using that front part over here where this edge is. We're looking good so far. Oh, I broke my lanyard. All right, we're gonna, well, this is good. We'll test it out without the lanyard now, see how it holds up. And then I'll fix that after I get it done. Wow, look at that. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do while I'm at it? Take off my glove. Lanyard's off. Let's take off the glove and see how this works out. Ah, oh, definitely a pretty good grip so far. Look at that, nice. Very nice. Definitely sliding more towards the rear of the handle. So just be aware of that troops. Okay, and I'm sure it has something to do with the handle being so thin. So as a suggestion, I don't know if they're gonna do, but as a suggestion, you know, put a handle here with swells. I think that might benefit you guys. Almost through. And I gotta tell you, it's not so bad without the gloves. Now, I'm no expert in tactical gloves, but I know there's some real thick ones out there. So it's just an assumption, and I'm sure Takumi Tech will get back to me. It's just an assumption that, you know, they made these handles, you know, more for, again, for tactical use. But if you're using tactical gloves and they're the big beefy kind that you could not uh, puncture, you know, your skin, those are pretty thick, so it's probably better. But we're almost through, look. Oh, that was a surprise. All right. Awesome, awesome troops. All right, Legionnaires, that was surprisingly easy to chop through, and it did a fine job for such a tactical blade. So my next uh, step that I want to do is I want to just quickly do some vertical batoning and see how it works out. Decent size thickness. All right. I want to see how this spine works out. And the tip, I'm hitting the tip. All right. All right, good. Looking good. Real good. Let's do it again. Let's make quarters and then we'll have kindling for a fire, uh, fire stove or a campfire. Nice. Great, let me just put this up on the side. Here's a nice thicker piece. All right. Let's get it done. Excellent. Ooh. All right. And I did go through a knot troops. Check it out. I felt some resistance and I was like, wow, what the heck is that? But it went through that knot. Not a problem. 
let's do some horizontal batoning instead of the vertical, okay? But I'm pretty satisfied with this right here. All right, let's make some feather sticks. Wood is already splitting, good sign. Let's turn this around. Look at that, right through handle and all, okay? No holding back, handle looks good, all right? Let's, wow, look at that, it's split all the way around. Let's do the other side and finish this off. There you go. All right. That's real nice. Let's make feather sticks now. But before I do that, let's check out the sharpness here. Okay, we're still looking good. Look at the way it's taking off that bark on this little branch over here. Just digging in. There you go. There you go. This is great. Not bad for a tactical blade. Let's move on. All right, let's move on. Okay, let's make this into thirds. Let's make this into thirds because I want decent sized feather sticks. All right, oh, <laughs> went right into the lock because I'm pounding on this thing, you know. Uh, yeah, this is looking good so far. Beautiful. Got one feather stick done. It's kind of big, so I could probably make it smaller, but like I promised you guys and gals, let's make thirds, right? There we go. Thirds made. Now let's see if I can get these a little bit smaller. All right. There's a little bit smaller feather sticks here. I'll tell you, for a tactical knife, it's doing pretty good for the outdoors. Now, I already had a couple people say, you know, it's a tactical knife. It's a tactical knife. Can't use it outdoors. I don't know about that. Hey, nice thin piece. Let's do it one more time. Looking good. So we have decent control here. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. All right, cool. That's great. Let's make some feather sticks out of these. Troops, before we move on, I just want to show you guys and gals the edge over here. We are looking good. There are no warps, chips, bends of the blade of any kind after all that chopping. I do have to say, this is a thin blade, you know, but it is doing a fantastic job so far. Okay, let's make some feather sticks here. All right. All right, it is windy over here, so I might be losing some of this stuff, but look at that. Look at how thin I am making this stuff. Look at that. Let's see if I can capture it. All right, what I want you guys and gals to see, really nice and thin. So individual curls, check, troops, check. Look at that. All right. Now let's make some feathers. All right. Again, learning curve with every knife, but we'll get it done. Looking good. It is thin. It is a thin blade and it is doing a heck of a job, troops. All right, cool. It's windy, but you could see that it made individual curls over here. All right, and it did make a really decent feather stick for the most part. All right, 
I'm satisfied with this. I'll probably make a little bit more off camera, but just to give you guys and gals an idea. Now I want to test out this tip. Okay, let's just split this. It's a decent sized log. All right. Okay. It did go through the tip. Looks good. I'll just keep on going until we split this baby. All right. Excellent. Just going to continue at the thick part. All right. As you can see right there, it's working out real good. Just want to make sure that I keep this in front of you in the camera. That tip is still looking decent. All right, for a Tonto tip, this should not have too much of a problem, but it is very thin at the tip, and we're looking good so far. All right, and we got the split, okay? There we go. Looking good, looking good. Okay, so now another thing I might want to try is with a young sapling, you know, in a survival situation, you need to make some kind of cordage or, you know, be very specific uh, with cutting. So let me just see if I could make a little bit of cordage here. I've seen a content creator do this. And, you know, my opinion, you know, one of the important reasons to be smart with your blade, you know, if this is something that you do as a bushcrafter or, you know, out in the field and you know a little bit about survival, then, you know, I've seen this content creator make cordage. All right. So nice and easy. All right. And now, please note, I am no expert whatsoever. Put that one in there nice and deep, you know. And now, using that Tonto tip. Oh, I broke it. But I just want to give you guys and gals an idea, you know, that it is possible to use to make, you know, the strips out of the saplings. You know with your tip okay that's why you want to use it smart that's why you don't want to you know do anything foolish with the tip because it could serve you well when you're out in the field all right now uh one other thing i would like to try before i move on is like a, a modified spear point that i've that i've thought of you know so instead of chopping all the way around you know, like if you needed to make spikes and you're in a hurry, you know, okay. Sorry about that, troops, but my land, you came loose again. All right, look. Okay. Now, I can refine it a little bit more. Give it a, a bit of a more robust tip over here. If you wanted to speed things up, maybe this is one way in my opinion, to make a tip or a spike. You know, if the predator's after you and you need to make a spike, there you go. That was pretty easy, pretty fast, just by chopping at a 45 degree-ish angle, okay? And then making the spear point right there. Wow, that's sharp. Pretty cool, right? All right, let's move on. We are still looking good. The tip looks good. The only thing I noticed is that, and I just noticed it, I didn't notice it before, the spine is not sharp whatsoever, but let's see. It's doing it. It's doing a little, a little scraping, so that's not bad. 
it might take a little work but it's doing a little scraping so this is a good surprise let's see the bark now oh yeah look at that so maybe if you're making an arrow you know a shaft you know this might help you out round things off a little bit but as you can see oh, that's a nice surprise you know So more outdoor than I would have thought. Okay, excellent. All right, check it out. That is really cool. I'm going to leave this the way it is uh, for the conclusion. That's, that's a nice surprise. I am really, really surprised. All right, cool. All right, let's just, uh, let's try using this to make some chunks here. Okay. And then we'll take a look at the blade because I know that this blade is pretty thin. So I want to see what this will do. So far, so good. You know what? Let me try something a little bit thicker. Let's use this. See, that's pretty nice and thick. All right. Let's see. Actually, you know what? Let me cut this in half. Okay, nicely done. That blade looks okay, man. That blade looks fine. All right, one more time. And then I'm concluding, because this knife, you know, for a quote-unquote tactical knife, this is badass outdoors, man. This is great. All right. I'm giving you guys and gals a good angle. There we go. Right into the stump. Yeah. Look at that. We're looking good. There's nothing wrong with this blade. This blade kicks some ass. All right, I'm good to go, troops. Legionnaires, you cannot deny it. this is a tactical outdoor blade. This knife kicks some serious ass. I don't care how you slice it. I don't care if you're all gonna say this is just a tactical knife. This did the job. The proof is in the video. This is one badass blade. All right, troops, legionnaires, and new recruits, as always, appreciate you guys and gals for checking out my channel. I want to bring awareness to everybody. Hashtag 22 a day. Hashtag 22 a day no more. There are veterans in active military that wants to get out of the service. They do face a lot of challenges. And unfortunately, one of these challenges is suicide. So at the end of this video will be some slides that you guys and gals can pause on. Please read those websites. Please read those phone numbers. Also, there is a heartfelt message from one of your own. Martin Miller, he's a legionnaire of this channel, also a Vietnam veteran. He has been there, he has done that, and he has gone through what you guys and gals possibly are going through. So please seek the help that you all have earned and deserved. All right, troops, legionnaires, and new recruits, as always, thank you very much for your time. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below what you think about this blade. As far as I'm concerned, this blade is badass. At the ready, troops, hold the line. Take care. Legionnaires!